Hi Church, uh, welcome back to our devotions for this week. Um, this is our last day in Numbers 22, where we have been looking at the Barmy story of the talking donkey. My name is Lola and I'm part of the pastoral team at Central Manchester. So as we've been journeying through the story, we've met um, three main characters. We've looked at Balak, who was the king of Moab, who was fearful of the Israelites and who then recruited Balaam, who was who the pagan sorcerer, um, who was able to put curses and blessings on people. Um, so Balak recruited Balaam to come and curse the Israelites. And we see that as Balaam was on his way to um, do that, that God um, sent an angel of the Lord who appeared to him on the road to oppose him, to actually destroy him. Uh, because God was angry about his intentions. So what I want to look a bit further is about, I'll start looking to a bit further, is our star of the show, which is the donkey. And um, when we look at the story, we can think about what does this donkey represent? And we've said before, you know, already that the donkey, you know, God did a miracle in terms of opening the donkey's mouth and he had a conversation with Balaam. And also, you know, we can look at the donkey um, almost like a, um, a a friend, a companion, um, a leader, um, somebody that is discipling us, a mentor, a parent, somebody that is in our life that has been placed there by God who speaks life into us. And sometimes, and we have these people in our lives who often, and in certain situations, they can see um, things, they can see danger ahead, they can see issues with our decisions that we cannot. Um, and they are there to uh, to guide us, um, sometimes to steer us out of the path um, of danger, sometimes actually even to encourage us and build us up in faith about decisions that we are making, uh, which we may be, uh, you know, have some anxiety about, but they are there to encourage us that, yes, this may look scary, but this is the right path. And we can look at the reverse of that. So, for example, if we are not Balaam and we are not the ones that have been guided by the donkey, sometimes in the story, we are the donkey. We are the person that God has placed in that person's life to speak life into them, to guide them, to direct them, to remind them of God's word to remind them of who they are in Christ. And sometimes we may not get the reaction that we would like. Um, we may end up actually suffering the wrath of that person, um, just as the donkey did. The donkey steered Balaam out of danger. The donkey essentially saved Balaam's life. But at that time, Balaam could not see that. And Balaam was angry at the donkey and beat the donkey. So that is just a word of encouragement, um, whether you are Balaam or whether you are the donkey. Um, and as we see in the story that actually um, God came to the, def the defense of the donkey um, and said to Balaam, you know, why have you beat the donkey? And actually explain that this donkey has actually just saved your life. So we've come to the end of this story, but actually there's at, there's so much more in this story. Um, it's, you know, what happens when Balaam actually gets to Moab and meets the king and what happens there. It's a really interesting story. So I would encourage you to um, definitely read um, the story yourself. Go to Numbers 22 and read on um, the story. Even the story is mentioned in the New Testament in the book of Peter and in Revelation. So do go and have a read of the story yourselves. But let's just remember the key messages that we took out of this week. The key prayer points, the key reflection points, and they are that we, number one, need to make sure, be careful that we are not a people who are operating in fear or intimidation, but that everything that we do is rooted in the love of God. Also, we need to make sure that we are a people who align ourselves with the will of God, with the word of God, 
and that our hearts are right and pure before God. We need to also um, make sure that we are not people who brush over um, miracles that God does in our lives and that we appreciate um, the things that God is doing in our lives and also that we can be people who are companions, who are the trusted donkey to others in our life and that we can help steer them with the guiding of the Holy Spirit out of danger. So that's all we've got time for. It's been great joining you this week and going through this bar meet Bible story. Um, so take care and uh, God bless. Bye church.